Hi there, grade ones. This week we are continuing to learn about states of matter. Specifically, we're going to learn about the life cycle of water. Did you know that water has a life cycle? So um, you might remember from last week that water can be in all three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. So water can be oops, in a liquid, right? If you drink a glass of water, it could be in a solid if you have an ice cube, or it could be in a gas. If you maybe boil water and it gets all steamy, or maybe you take a shower sometimes and it's really hot and maybe like the glass gets fogged up, that's, that's water in, in its gas form. So, and you might remember, sorry, let me go back one page. Um, you might remember the three water balloons. One was filled with water, one was filled with ice, and one was filled with air. So here's my question for you, grade ones. How do I turn a glass of water into ice? What do you have to do to water to turn it into ice? Do you know? Where would you put it? Exactly, it goes in the freezer and it'll turn into ice. Or could you put it outside in the winter time? Yeah. Now, what about the opposite grade ones? What if I had an ice cube and I wanted to turn it into water? What would I need to do to that ice cube? Should I leave it in the freezer? How do I turn that ice cube into water? I'm sure there's more than one way. What do you think? If it were me, I would set it on the counter for a little bit or I'd put it outside in the summertime. I'm sure it would melt very quickly. Now here's my next question. You guys all know what a puddle is. Have you ever jumped in a puddle after it rains, gone outside and seen the puddles everywhere? Now, do puddles stay there forever or do they eventually go away? I want you to think grade ones. Are there always puddles outside all the time or only after it rains? Hmm, so puddles go away somehow. How do you think these puddles go away? Yeah, think about that for a second while we go on to our next question. How do puddles go away? So grade one, here's our next question. How do you turn water into a gas? How do you turn water into steam that goes into the air? What do you think you need to do? So same idea as a puddle. How do puddles eventually disappear? How does water turn into a gas? If you need more think time, you can pause it and think. If not, we're going to talk about it now. So one way is to boil it on a stove or in a kettle. Maybe somebody in your family drinks tea and they have to boil hot water. Have you ever seen steam coming out of the kettle? Yeah. Um, also, another way to do that, grade ones, is to let the sun do it. So sun can be really hot and it can actually turn water. It can, it can, the word is evaporate. It can make it turn into a gas. It can make it basically disappear. So that's what happens to puddles. When the sun beats down on it, it gets really hot and it dries up. So now grade ones, let's talk about a little bit, sorry, about describing words. So we all know what describing words are. So tell me grade ones, how would you describe a summer day? If I said to you, hey, can you describe a summer day to me? You might say like, oh yeah, it'd be really sunny. It'd be really hot outside. What if I asked you to describe a winter day? You'd probably tell me, oh, maybe dark and gloomy, snowy, icy, cold, things like that, right? Now, what if I asked you to describe ice to me? How would you describe ice to somebody? Ice can be cold and it can be slippery, right? Those are good ways to describe ice. What about yourself, grade ones? How would you describe yourself? Maybe you'll say that you're funny. Maybe you're friendly or kind. Maybe you're outgoing or maybe you're shy. Those are some describing words. Now, today you're going to be asked to describe liquids, solids, and gases. So let's go over a few examples together before you have to do it on your own. So let's start with liquids, grade ones. How would you describe a liquid? If someone asked you, hey, what is a liquid? What would you say? I would say things like liquids are usually wet, runny, or they flow, right? 
um, they could be hot or cold, right? Because you could have a cold glass of water or you could have like a room temperature glass of water or you could have like a hot chocolate. So that's how I would describe a liquid. What about a solid grade ones? How would you describe a solid? Would you say that it was bouncy? No, would you say that it was, it could flow? No, but it's hard, right? Hard or firm. That's how I would describe and it doesn't change its shape. Last, let's talk about gas. How would you describe a gas? I would say things like it's invisible or steamy or usually hot, especially in a kettle or boiling water. It definitely gets really hot. So describing words, grade ones, are words that explain what something is or what something does. So what it looks like, feels like, or sounds like. Now, let's finally take a look at the activity you will be doing today. So up here where it says scientist, you can put your name because you are the scientist. And we're gonna look over here. So this is our life cycle of an ice cube. We've got ice, water, and a gas. So you need to look over here at number one. You have three choices, liquid, solid, gas. You have to use the finger dragging tool down here to click and drag these to the correct spot. You can move all of these words. So this says liquid. If you're having trouble reading at grade ones, you can either tap this button to hear me read it, or you can sound it out yourself. Liquid starts with a l, l, l. solid is solid, and gas is g, g, gas. So you could probably figure out which one's which. So take the word, drag it over, and put it in the spot that it says. So it says state of matter and put it on which one you think is liquid. Which one do you think is liquid? Is it the ice? Is it the water? Or is it the boiling kettle? Which one's a liquid? And place it in the spot you think it is. And same with solid or gas. Okay, so that's your first job. Say which one's a liquid, which one's a solid, which one's a gas. Now, number two is on to our describing words. You need to figure out all of these words, which ones they go with. So this one says invisible. Grade ones, which one out of the three is invisible? Is ice invisible? Is water invisible? Or is gas invisible? And whichever one you think it is, I want you to drag it over and put it on one of the lines, okay? And you have to go through each word. So let's go to another one. This word says slippery. Out of these three, which one do you think is the most slippery in your hands? Right? And then once you know, think you know it, I want you to drag it over and put it in the spot. So at the very end grade ones, all of these words should be dragged over and placed somewhere on this page. You can put the black, I'm not gonna actually do the proper ones. You can put the black ones on the line and you can put the blue ones right at the top. So it'll look something like that, okay? And there you have it. That is how you're going to do the life cycle of water. When you've done this grade ones, I need you to go to page two and I need you to watch the second video for instructions on how you are going to do your science experiment today.